Hello and welcome back to American Falls. It is now December. I have managed to line up a couple of contracts. They are cultivating and plowing, but I'm hoping that at some point in this episode we get to buy ourselves some more land and try and work in some other jobs for ourselves. So I'm going to jump in the truck and uh, we're going to head out to the yard and pick up our equipment. Let's go. And our first contract is going to be Field 41 and a spot of ploughing that is accessible up here through the cow farm. Just over here by the bunkers if I recall. Oh, that's me. Yeah, we got a little track here. That's us. That's what we want. Shall we head off to the top? Beautiful morning here. A little bit frosty. Hopefully the snow is going to stay away for us. Um, I didn't check the forecast, but I don't think we've got snow. I think the snow is probably due January, February time, if I remember last time. Now, since we are hoping to uh, <laughs> get a little bit more done, I want to try and get uh, December and January in this episode if we can just so we can uh, progress through a little bit but while we're here I mean it would be silly not to wouldn't it let's uh, address the elephant in the room yes I will be continuing a series here on American Falls I see no reason why not I enjoy the map people seem to be enjoying me on the map and uh, Lancey would want me to continue I am recording this on Tuesday the 26th, the day the news broke, so yeah, why not, let's let's do this. Uh, the two videos earlier on in the week, or last week, depending on when I put this out, uh, were pre-recorded before the weekend of the initial release of American Falls, so yeah, it just, <laughs> how, how can he? that my conversational pieces in the videos were about people attacking modders and being disrespectful and abusive. How, how ironic. It's almost like I'm clairvoyant. It is uncalled for. Now I have had people ask me if I would continue on this map. I have people say to me they don't think I should continue on this map. Also, I've had con content creators come and ask me if it's okay. Ask me if it's okay if they use the map to create content. Of course it is. If you have the map and you downloaded the map, you are free to make content with it. Why not? Now, you know, it shouldn't be re-uploaded anywhere. That would be disrespectful. I'm sure it's already out there, but you know what? That's just the way people go. So yeah, we will be continuing here in American Falls. I'm sure throughout this episode we will brush on more things of the past 24 hours for me. Because it has been... I don't like, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm just the guy that tried to help, and it's been completely emotionally draining for me, mentally and emotionally draining for me, I'd hate to be in the head of someone that spent 24 hours getting attacked, that would be awful, that would be absolutely awful, so yeah, I, mean, I, <laughs> I wanted to get a video out, I wanted to record, I still want to try and, uh, do good for this map and uh, you know try and make a positive out of it show it off in a good light you know this is the uh, updated version that everyone would have gotten if they were just patient such a shame such a shame it's the uh, the toxic few <laughs> spoil it for everyone 
and uh, it seems to be so frequent at the minute. So frequent. So many modders. Mappers. Mappers especially. I think they sort of get it harder. I'm sure there are people out there that are, are riding um, other mod makers. I'm just not uh, in with those circles um, because I, I think because I know a hell of a lot less about um, the mechanical doings of mods such as tractors and trucks and stuff like that's that's way beyond any of my knowledge I think so sort of the uh, the mappers and the placeables they're the they're the people I tend to uh, to talk with and sort of get on with I'd love to learn more I really would uh, at the time of recording this, all three <laughs> of my little placeables are with giants in testing. Um, I don't know if they'll make it out, I don't know if they'll get through. I'm, <laughs> I'm anticipating three fails. I said it as soon as they went into testing, I was anticipating three fails, so we'll see. If they are out by now, <laughs> Lord knows, Lord knows. Um, I feel like some people <laughs> get a bit excited uh, just because of their names, and <laughs> that's fair enough. Um, but yeah, they, they were nothing overly complex. That's me dabbling and trying to do things. Uh, hopefully their descriptions <laughs> describe their purpose if they're out. Uh, I have said in, uh, in my own Discord, if, uh, if they don't go through, it's not a big worry. Um, they don't break anything. Um, I'll probably put them out in Discord or on a on an itch page or something like that. Or I might just put them up for my channel members to play with and enjoy. I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps I, I, I said perhaps that could be something I do. Fiddle about, make some little mods, and just give them to. Uh, to my top supporters again as a thank you we'll see you know they might go through you might go through I will be absolutely shocked and stunned that I really would so we've got a nice sort of headland at the bottom here we'll go up we'll probably uh, put another one at the top try and crack on a little bit more crack on crack on uh, well, we had other other. Let's have some good news for a little bit. Um, Ballam Road, it's a massive overhaul. Got uh, got through testing and it's got released. I believe it was on all platforms. I think that went out today. I have to uh, have to check that. It won't matter because this is going to go out in about four or five days, so it will be out. But it got through testing, so that's awesome. Congratulations to FS Landscape for that. And again, this is someone that got hit by a barrage of abuse <laughs> across the uh, the so-called community when he released his very first ever map. <laughs> very for a first-time mapper attempting something, and met with a barrage of hate and abuse. You should all be proud of yourselves. But yeah, if you uh, if you are one of the people that maybe didn't quite enjoy it or find it to your liking, maybe go give it a look and see what he's done to it. And if you are someone that did enjoy it, hopefully you are still enjoying it to a degree and uh, are trying out the updates. He's trying to keep it moving along with the pace that um, Tom Pemberton is uh, building the uh, the milk parlour at the minute. I think. The day that it went through testing, he'd already had to then start on the update to add in extra doors and stuff. So I think that's the challenge he's got with that. He's trying to keep up with what's going on IRL to maintain a map that is representative of what he wants, wants it to represent. And, uh, you know, getting it through testing and not disrupting too many people's play on it. It has been a long time coming. I know the uh, the update 
had been submitted a few times with different things. I mean, even after he'd submitted it, he'd already got an update ready for something else, and then the door came along, so there's something else. So hopefully both of those will go in an update that may even have gone through again by now, which is great. Absolutely great. I did want to try and find time to uh, showcase the upcase, upgrade, upcase, upgrade, update. That's the word we're after. Uh, but with everything that's been going on, I have had my attentions elsewhere. As I'm sure some of you are more than aware. Right, let's start our up and down on this. Now, my friend, Simulation Station, he did send me a message and tell me what those those were called. I forgot what they were called, but they are for water drainage. And um, he said, like, sometimes people will um, crop over them. They'll seed over them. They'll just keep the seed and they'll crop over them. But they never plough them up. Without them, the, the, there's nowhere for the water to go and things like that. So we will be keeping ours in. Like I said before, I didn't really know about them. We don't. I said to him, I don't think we really have anything like that in the UK. I think because typically in the UK... Our fields are smaller. I'm not sure if this is sort of a, a, a large field um, thing, just a way of managing it on large fields. And obviously, here Lance has incorporated, incorporated it into a uh, varied size fields. But again, it would work because it is a large plot of land in general. So having the water drainage or this this grass land here that helps to drain the water and move the water off the field and absorb it and such us there to help. But yeah, in the UK we tend to have um, a lot larger uh, verges and things like that. This is collectible here I'm just going to get. We need the money and yeah so that I guess that's that helps. We have um, obviously a lot of shrubbery and bushes and trees around fields which also you know help to uh, drain and use up any water that's there. I think when you see on um, real life farming such as uh, Tom Pemberton's and, and the like where they have their massive open meadows they do get, I know they've got a very high water table where they are because they are on the rivers and the dikes and they are right next to the sea they are pretty much on a floodplain so they do flood they flood a lot but maybe if there was a, it's all sort of grassland though isn't it you see so my, my thought is wrong but maybe if there was a little bit more foliage maybe there would be less of the flooding or maybe if the fields were just smaller I don't know that's that's how my brain works with things like that so hmm I think I've got it and then I think through it and I said oh no that wouldn't be right because it's already there but yeah that that is uh, that's good news the uh, the Ballon Road stuff that is good and hopefully we'll see our friend Miss Modern's Buckland's Farm soon. Hopefully that's on its way. A lot of good, a lot of good stuff. A lot of fun stuff. You know. And remember, when you take a look at these maps, when you took a take a look at these mods, not every map is made for you. In fact, most maps aren't made for you. They're made for the map maker in the style of that they want them. And just because something isn't your personal preference, it doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make it terrible and crap. And they don't need to know how crap you think they are and how awful you think it is. If you have constructive criticism, most modders will be happy to receive constructive criticism, as most people will that do anything abuse and attacks because you don't like something it's just well vile to be honest it really is but anyway we will uh, I'll crack on with this one and I'll bring you back at the end and when we're ready to collect payment and to move on to our cultivation of field 30 I believe A 
our field is done. We've got a few little tufts here that I missed. Listening to me music. Got a little bit carried away. And there we are. That is field 41 ploughed. Hopefully that was the one that wanted ploughing and not cultivating. If not, we'll have to come back and do it again. I'm sure I checked it right. My old man brain is prone to forgetting though. Let's just check. Plow job field 41, that is $8,544. Thank you very much. So we are off to field 30 for a cultivation. 11 grand, nearly 12 grand, that's a biggie. But on the way home, I think we're gonna stop off and see if we can squeeze under the, uh, under the full court roof and get some gas. Because I do not think that we have um, a petrol station or a, a gas station at the uh, our little farm depot. There's one at the community lot, but we don't have one. Four hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Look at that. That is expensive. Plow dropped off. Land all on, and we're going to go a little bit off road because I think we can get to where we want to go via the back tracks which is probably safer and wiser with the big land all on the back we want to get to the field it's a big field round the back of uh, where our where our trailer is that's the word I'm looking for, trailer so we're going to go see if we can well, but we cut along this field's headland somewhat. See if we can find ourselves a track. So, not that one. The one, or not the one in front, but not the one over in far. The one that is to the east of that. I believe it's this one in the trees. We will just get out and check because I do make mistakes, but that look like that is ready. That's field 30, that is it. So we've got sorghum, cultivating up the sorghum. Sorry, I'm about to lose my voice. That happens a lot, doesn't it? You can tell I'm not a very talkative person, the amount I, I lose my voice. One of the silent types. Ooh, tree. Drop that down. Off we go. Now the, uh, the AI farmers, the locals, don't think they appreciate exactly what it is the land all does. I'm sure this is a triple working tool. A mulch cultivate roll. Just clear me through, hopefully that's a bit better. Um, yeah, so uh, they're getting extra benefits from this. Unfortunately, when we uh, click complete contract, I think it just resets to cultivate, but we are putting the effort in with our with our massive tool. Now, if you're interested in a little personal update, me and the boy today, <laughs> we actually, for the first time, actually went on. Oh, I've got the name of it, <laughs> its name now. The um, the forestry map. What's it called? Something pine. Um, yeah, we went we went on that. Um, he wanted to do a different map. He picks the maps when we play together, and we were on the login map. And I think he was a little bit disappointed that Dad didn't know how all the login machinery worked. He didn't say it. He's three, but you know, <laughs> the fact that I had to keep trying to do stuff was <laughs> a little bit funny. Just kept saying, "Let me do it. I'll show you." So perhaps. Uh, when we get round to doing a little bit more logging on here, which we will, we'll, uh, we'll get stuck into some of the big machinery. Like I've said, we will one day do some a logging series, so 
here's a chance to get a little bit of logging in on this map. It is plentiful of trees. And at its heart was originally intended as a bit of a logging map. So we'll get out there, cut them down. Need to get that money so we can at least lease some equipment. Like I said, I want to buy a small plot of land if I can. And if and when we do buy up said plot of land, I'm thinking it might be worthwhile for us to place our own animal pen rather than looking to save up enough money to buy one of the plots on the map to run animals from. Because I think the cheapest one is the sheep, and I mean, that's still. 200 and something thousand if I remember rightly. I'm sure it was like 216 grand for the uh, the sheep farm. And I'd love the sheep farm. Sheep are a good source of income I think. Very low maintenance. Pop them in with feed and let them do. Just clear the wool when it's full. So when we get our plot we may, may pop some sheep down. Whether we go for like an open pasture type thing maybe a temporary grazing pasture or <laughs> or something with a bit of a barn and a shed on it, I'm not sure. It'll all come down to cost and how much the bit of land is that we get. There's a couple of bits we're looking at, it all depends on the finances. But with saying that we probably won't get hold of a, a built-in farm for a while at least. I may try and add in AI farmers um, to have uh, cattle at the farms so there'll be some sheep at the farm some, some cows and some pigs maybe so then when we're going through the area when we're driving about it's a little bit more lived in then uh, some of that I really enjoy watching some of that I uh, support and talk about a lot on my videos uh, someone that I respect a great deal Disturbed Simulation he has a tutorial on how to do that and he did it on his maypole series if you've not seen disturbed simulation i don't know what rock you live under but go check him out his maypole series is really good big fan of the maypole map myself uh, but he he started off as uh, just maypole on hard mode let's make it hard let's have some fun with it and then with the way that he'd set it up, he then, then did it as like uh, through the ages because he initially brought really old small equipment anyway. So then that turned into his uh, through the ages, which has now moved to Ben Lethen, another Cavalier Roy map, another beautiful Cavalier Roy map at that. So yeah, check him out because he's got some great stuff on there, some great ideas, some great tutorials, like some of the best tutorials going. And as I often say, he is the voice and somewhat base of the farm and agency UK branch he is the UK guy the English speaking guy so you know he knows what he's doing he knows what he's talking about yeah big big fan of Disturbed this has a really nice I've said this what a really nice series going on Saxthorpe Definitely check that out if you go over there as well. Another beautiful map. Another beautiful map. Another beautiful map by a map maker. They got troused by the community when he released his map. <laughs> There's a pattern to it in there. There's a pattern. But yeah, go check him out. And following the jump cut, someone else that I I would like to give a little bit of a, a nod to and a plug. Someone that I've been enjoying watching uh, lately. I say lately, you know past few months I've been slipping in and out of their streams but I find more and more at the minute in the evenings I I do my recording and you know, I, like I said what I used to do like a couple of recordings a night I just get a bit tired now so I do one recording a night and uh, try and do a bit of editing or something like that and I pop on after I've watched my simulation station episode <laughs> Plug for him. There's always a plug for Sim Station. Go check him out. Um, yeah, I, I like to go and sit in Bruce's gaming, his stream. Does Farm Sim. He probably does other games as well, but 
I, I, I watch his farm sim. And uh, yeah, he streams almost every night for me. It's normally around about 11 o'clock by the time I'm in his streams. 11, half 11. It's pretty late for me. And uh, yeah, he he pretty much streams every map that comes on the mod hub. He'll stream it that night or the night after. And he will do a, a, a lengthy stream touring the map, checking the map out. He goes and he works everything so he'll do a harvest he'll do some plowing some cultivating he'll uh, do the animals for each thing if there are new or custom crops and textures we'll take, he'll take a look at all that he'll see what eats what what goes where where the straw goes really really good and it's all done very friendly very chilled the dude is super chilled this community seems great very welcoming i'm pretty certain when I'm in there, I'm the only Brit. <laughs> it feels that way. Uh, the chat goes from anything, uh, so on, you know, no politics, no religion. But, but yeah, it, it just goes, you know, last night, when I was, I was in there last night, and, you know, they're all talking about what they're going to have for, for like supper, for dinner. And it's like, it's my bedtime, and I'm getting hungry because they're all talking about food. <laughs> It's good. I like it when a stream goes just into a random chat and everyone's involved in it. It's, it's quite nice. But yeah, Bruce is gaming. Go check him out. I'll try and put a little uh, logo up in editing or I'll, I'll put a link. If I can remember, I'll put a link down in the description. I'm not very good at remembering links, but if I can, I will. But yeah, Bruce is gaming. Go check him out. I mean, I don't even know. So if he even... Uh, I know he's... Uh, a subscriber to the channel. I don't know if you watch as much of my content when I put it out. But yeah, if you do, Bruce, comment down below and then people can click on you and uh, come find you if they don't already know of you. People should do. So, quality guy, nice guy, very welcoming. Now, we're not we're not nearly finished on this. We have uh, done sort of the top half and then we've come round to where the uh, where the bottom end sticks out. We've still got a lot to do over on the far side of the field. We've got the full lengths on that side, so we've done the bit behind and then we've done a bit here. And there we are, our field. to be cultivated. So we'll just pull ourselves off to the side. Remember to put the HUD back up as well. We did forget last time, I do apologise. People uh, sometimes like to see it. So back down to the contract. 11,000. Oh, we're still rolling, aren't we? That's not good. Right. <laughs> 11,827. Boom. So there are still more cultivating contracts. I'm not going to take on another contract today. Plenty of ploughing. It is winter. Those are the jobs we have. Yeah, now he went into this uh, this field. All right. Let's get this back. We'll, uh, we'll probably call it a night. But like I said, I want to try and get some of January in here. Maybe not all of January, but we'll, we'll get some January in and look to see what we can do sort of land-wise. So hello again, and since it's the middle of winter, um, I'm not anticipating doing a great deal of work. So we had a little lane, and we are getting up at nine, just so we can have some daylight. So, before we head anywhere, let's have a look at what lands we can actually uh, afford to get. So we have 148 grand to, uh, to sort of play with. It's not a lot, but it is something. Now there are the small lots, and they are very small, up here by the community lot, which would be sort of feasible we can uh, do some stuff maybe store some stuff here as well we only live here so it's only a small trek but there's also these small lots down here and that is down sort of where we've got our where our, we've, we've got our hq as we put it that's that's where our storage is uh, 67 grand and 
which would would there's a little bit of woods there which would be pretty good that's that'll give us some some more trees to clear out should we do trees and a little bit of land to work with i think we've got to definitely get number five and 44 i've just got to be mindful of the money that we have we still have over 100 grand so i think i'm going to buy that as well so yeah we've got a, a, a how much is that next one 72 that leaves us with ooh, 30 grand a little under 30 grand so that could be our next our next plot so let's get over We'll have another look at what we have. Start the engine. Yeah, we'll have a little look at what we do have. Um, the state of the field. I think there was corn in it previously. Uh, whether that's been ploughed up or cultivated, I do not know. We'll check what the field state is. Like I said, we've got the trees. We'll have a look, see what we've got there. Uh, we do still have February. Uh, obviously, we have a little bit of January left, but we have February to do a little bit of I call it tree work because it's not really logging on the scale that we do it like I say eventually hopefully that will come I have to learn it I have to uh, get my son to teach me how to do it so yeah we'll hopefully get that going you know we could eventually then move out of the trailer and uh, buy this nice big house and live here that would be good right next to our land and next to our lockup somewhere different we will um, park up at our lot but yeah that's that's pretty much what we brought there it hasn't been uh, dug up at all so we'll see we have to see what it is this it's in the ground swing ourselves in Too worried about how we park. The wing mirrors away. So we've already took a few trees out here, pretty much in preparation for buying this lot. This was always one that we, uh, we, I uh, spoke about getting. This is our our custom corn. I think it's uh, Benny's corn, isn't it? Uh, very nice. When you can see it in full growth, it looks really good. I'm sure many of you have seen. Uh, it's a Benji Benji's corn. Um, yeah, seen that in full growth by now. I think quite a few maps have now incorporated it. It's very good. So yeah, we took out trees from this line here. So this is going to need ploughing. So that would be a good little January job for us. What have we got? Hmm. The bit in between, we probably wouldn't plough that up, would we? With, with what I now know about the grass bits... We wouldn't plow that up but this would then be for me and how i how i think and look at things that would be our next logical expansion of our farm but there are a few trees here and like i said we can we can take these little ones down we can plant some more and over time they'll grow we'll be able to do stuff but i think yeah what we're going to do is jump back in the challenger stick the plow on the back and We'll get this. Uh, we'll get this dug up. Let's quickly do that, shall we? Our January job. Like I say, we don't need to have a lot to do. Something. So we've still got a hundred grand to tick over, and oh, I left the lights on. Look at that. Drained the battery overnight. Yeah. Once I've got this done, I can always, you know, like I've done before, pick up a contract and, and sort of end on it if I wish. And this shouldn't take very long at all. Just lower it to get out the uh, out of the door. We may even put a little track in here. Take out some more trees. We could take out more trees and just expand the plot. We could go that way, I think, because then we wouldn't dig up the access track that others are maybe using to get to their fields. We don't want to be doing that. That would be a little bit a holy. Although, you know, 
We're partial to a little bit of holy. Let's see it's in position. Another quick clear of the throat, and we're good to go. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this done. I say this shouldn't take long at all, and this probably will be our last job. So, <laughs> back to everything that's been going on. With everything that has been going on, uh, some of you will know that I have been quite outspoken about the way people have been treated, um, the effects of it, you know, the bullying, the abuse, and things like that. Now, I, you know, maybe in my naivety, was hoping that by being vocal about it, more content creators would also want to uh, be vocal and support the people that help us. You know, enjoy the game, the, the modders. And uh, I reached out to who I believe to be the, or one of the most influential, certainly the biggest voice in uh, the farm sim community. Um, after informing him of Lancey's decision to uh, leave the FS community and just sort of spend time away and, and do his thing. We had a little discussion. I was disappointed with it, but not surprised. I thought about sharing this, I thought about not sharing this with you guys, but because it is something that I think needs to be done and needs to be addressed, I'm actually going to share the conversation with you. So I'm going to leave this episode and leave you with the... <laughs> empathetic, understanding, caring, supportive words of DJ Gohan. Remember people, when you send someone a nasty message, when you send someone a hateful, abusive message, there is every chance that that is the last message that person could ever read. Bear that in mind, when you go for people, hide them behind your keyboards, hide them behind your phones and your tablets. It's unnecessary, it's uncalled for. Be kind, respect the people that are putting the work in for you, and try and enjoy the game. Let's be a better community. Bye bye. <laughs>